विल स्टडी अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ फ्रैक्शन नाउ देर आर वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो वी विल स्टडी ऑल द प्रॉपर्टीज वन बाय वन सी द वेरी फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी हियर वॉट इट इज रिटर्न हियर द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू फ्रैक्शनल नंबर डज नॉट चेंज इवन इफ वी चेंज द ऑर्डर ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन Now let us understand this through an example. Now here I have taken two fractions, one by three and five by nine. Okay, we have to check the product by changing the order of the fraction numbers. So first, let us find out the product here. So one by three when multiplied by five by nine, what should be the product here? In the numerator we have one multiplied by five, so that will give us five. In the denominator we have three multiplied by nine, so three nines are twenty-seven. So the product is five by twenty-seven. Now let us change the order of fraction numbers okay now if we are taking 5 by 9 and then we are writing 1 by 3 what should be the product in the numerator again we have 5 multiplied by 1 that will give 5 in the denominator we have 9 multiplied by 3 so 3 nines are 27 now see when we have multiplied here we have done the multiplication it is 5 by 27 and when we have reversed or changed the order of multiplication again the product is same so what so it means the product of two fractional number does not change the fraction is same here now let us do one question here that says fill in the boxes mm -hmm. now here you can see it is written 2 by 4 multiplied by 3 by 7 is equals to 3 by 7 multiplied by what number now remember one thing the fractions written on this side of equal to this is the left hand side and the other portion that is written that side after the equal to sign this is the right side so left hand side should be equal to right hand side okay now see which fraction is written here 3 by 7 is written here which is also here it means this fraction is here so what should be here so that both can be equal it means this fraction should be written here so there on the right hand side it should be 2 upon 4 only then both the sides will be equal now let us do one more question now here 1 by 5 multiplied by a missing number will be equal to 1 whole 1 by 6 into 1 by 5 so now check which fraction number is already there 1 by 5 is this side and it is on the right hand side also what is missing here this number should be written here only then left hand side will be equal to right hand side so it will be 1 whole 1 by 6 so simply by using the property of multiplication we can solve this question okay now this was all about the first property of fraction now let us understand the second property of uh, multiplication of fraction so students the second property of multiplication of fraction says the product of three or more fractional numbers does not change even if we change their group now let us understand this property with the help of an example see first i have taken 1 by 3 multiplied by 2 by 5 into 4 by 7 so first find the product of this fraction number okay so it will be 1 by 3 first we will solve the bracket so inside the bracket first we write sign of multiplication now inside the bracket we have 2 multiplied by 4 in the numerator so 2 fours are 8 in the denominator we have 5 multiplied by 7 so 5 sevens are 35 now again we have to solve this so it will be 8 one is 8 upon 35 into 3 so 35 multiplied by 3 is 105 so 105 is the denominator okay now let us change the order of the multiplication and then find the product now this time what i have done 1 by 3 then i have taken 4 by 7 so both these are in the bracket and 2 by 5 is outside of the bracket now let us solve this so first we have to solve the bracket so in the numerator we have 1 multiplied by 4 that is 1 into 4 is 4 Now in the denominator we have three multiplied by seven. Three sevens are twenty-one. Now multiplied by two by five. Two by five. Now in the numerator what we have four multiplied by two that is eight and twenty-one multiplied by five in the denominator. 
So that is 5 1 is 5, 5 2 are 10. Again 105. Now see, this time again the same product has, uh, we have got the same product. Now one more rearrangement can be done. Now this time 4 by 7 we have taken outside the bracket and inside the bracket we have 1 by 3 and 2 by 5. Now let us solve this again. So first we will write 4 by 7 and multiply. Then first solve the bracket 2 1 is 2 and 3 5 are 15. Now in the numerator 4 2 are 8. And in the denominator, again we have got 105, 7 into 15 or 15 into 7, it will be 105. Now in all the three cases, you can see the product is same. It does not change, even if we have changed the order or the grouping of the fraction numbers. Okay, so this was the second property. Now let us apply this to a question given here. Now here you can see the sign of equal to here and here. So we have three parts here. This part equal to this part equal to this part. It means all the three parts should be equal. When will uh, the three parts be equal? Now in this uh, part, we have 1 by 7 multiplied by 1 by 9 into 1 by 11. But here what we have? We have 1 by 7. Okay. We have 1 by 11. So what should be here that this part should be equal to this part? It should be 1 by 9. Okay. Now come to the third one. Now both these parts are equal and it is saying this part should also be equal to this part. So what is here? We have 1 by 11. 1 by 7 is already here. 1 by 11 is already here. What is missing here? Again 1 by 9 is missing here. So it should be 1 by 9. Okay. So using the second property we can solve the questions like this. Okay, now let us understand the next property of multiplication of fractions. So students, the next property of multiplication of fraction is the product of a fraction number and 0 is always 0. If we multiply any fraction number by 0, the result will always be 0. Let us understand this through an example here. I have taken 2 by 27 multiplied by 0. So in the numerator we have 2 into 0 that is 0. Any number multiplied by 0 will give us 0. And in the denominator we have 27 into 1 that is 27. Now 0 divided by 27 will give you the answer as 0. So whenever a fraction is multiplied by 0 the result will always be 0. Okay. The next property says the product of a fractional number and 1 is the fractional number itself. Now whenever let us understand this to an example. This is a fraction number. When it is multiplied by 1, what are we going to get? 27 into 1 is 27. And in the denominator, again we have 37 into 1 is 37. So this says that a fraction number when multiplied by 1 will give the fraction number itself. The fraction number will be as it is. Okay. So now let us do some questions based on these properties. Now see 2 by 7 multiplied by what number will give us 0? It will be 0 in what case any number multiplied by 0 will give us 0. Okay, so this is the direct answer. Now see the next one 3 by 14 multiplied by what number will give us the same number? It will be same when it will be multiplied by 1. So like this you can solve the questions based on the properties of multiplication. Now let us understand one more property. So the next property of multiplication of fractions is multiplicative inverse property. Now that says when the product of a fraction number and whole number is 1, each one is a multiplicative inverse of the other. And when the product of two fractional number is 1, both are multiplicative inverse of each other. It means when we are multiplying two fractional numbers, we are getting one. It means both the fraction numbers are multiplicative inverse of each other. And when we are multiplying a fraction number and whole number, it means they both are also multiplicative inverse of each other. That is why uh, the product is one. Now what is multiplicative inverse for a whole number? Suppose a whole number is five. So the multiplicative inverse of five will be 1 by 5. 
it means the numerator becomes the denominator and denominator becomes the numerator in 5 5 is the numerator and what is denominator here it is 1 so multiplicative inverse will of 5 will be 1 by 5 suppose if i ask you multiplicative inverse of 9 so multiplicative inverse of 9 will be 1 by 9 multiplicative inverse of 11 so 11 multiplicative inverse will be 1 by 11 now if i ask you multiplicative inverse of 3 upon 4 3 upon 4 so i told you numerator becomes a denominator and denominator becomes a numerator so multiplicative inverse of 3 by 4 will be 4 by 3 okay it will be reversed multiplicative inverse of 6 upon 7 so it will be 7 upon 6 okay if multiplicative inverse is clear to you then these properties should also be clear now let us apply here to a question when will the product be equal to 1? 1 by 4 when multiplied by what number will give us 1? So we have just studied that whenever a number is multiplied by the multiplicative inverse, we get the 1 as product. So 1 by 14, what will be the multiplicative inverse? It will be 14 by 1 or we can write simply as 14. So this will be the answer. Now let us apply it here. 6 by 7 multiplied by what number will give us 1? When a fraction is multiplied by its multiplicative inverse, we get 1 as the product. So 6 by 7, 1 multiplied by 7 by 6, it will give us 1. See how 6 by 7 multiplied by 7 by 6. 6, 1 is 6, 6, 1 is 6, 7, 1 is 7, 7, 1 is 7. So the product is 1. Same is the case here also. 14 ones are 14 ones are. So it will be 1. So all these were the properties of multiplication of fractions.